Hello and welcome to my unboxing of the M3 F80 combo version. Now this one comes from Kitbox PLZ models. They're based in China. You get two versions of this car. You get the BMW M3 version there. And then you also get the 2-in-1 combo version there, which I think is a limited edition 30-year-old version of it. Uh, with different wheels to those wheels. So without further ado, we're going to open this up and uh, take a look inside and uh, see how this compares to an Alpha models. So let's go and open this one up. Right, so let's see what's inside. So you, you get a standard box, how much on the box, instructions, which we'll hold it through in a minute, see what they look like, see what we get. We then get everything in bubble wrap, a nifty little badge, as you can see there. Just says whether you want to put that, I suppose, two in one. You then have the body, which is there, the PE stuff there, brakes, seat belts, uh, other bits there, and then in the bottom, then the part of the box. So that's everything that comes in this box. So we'll start with the body. No, we'll start with the little bits actually first. So you get two sets of wheels, as you can see. Let's zoom in on that so we get a better focus. Two sets of wheels, some other parts there. You get the chrome parts there, and then the rest of the interior body parts there. So we'll start with the wheels, have a look at those and go on from there. So you get two sets, as I said. You get the first set, which are these ones. Hopefully it'll focus, there we go. Now these are very nice, they're very clean. There is no real residue of resin on these whatsoever. They are very smooth, as you can see. No interior residue at all, no real cleanup needed on these, which is absolutely amazing. Really, really nice. So you get four of those. And then you get the other ones with the tyres on. Standard M3 ones, which are very nice too. You get nice symbols on them. Nice bit of tread on the sides. No cleaner need on these. Also, it's very hard to see I don't think my camera's going to focus on it, but it has got writing around the rim that says Michelin. So that's quite nice. You get four of those ones. So I'll put those to one side, the tyres. And the spare set of wheels, which you could use on a different model, which is quite nice. You then get the other body part, well, the other interior part. Put those out. All nice bits of resin. So you get I'm not sure what part that is exactly. You get a little part there. I'm not sure what it is. You then get the, uh, obviously the dashboard. All nicely detailed, very clean. It needs a bit, of, a bit of smoothing up, obviously, and details need to be grooved in a little bit more. But overall, that's pretty nice, I like that. Nice and smooth, nice there. You then get the door welds, two of those, very nice, very nice detail on those. You then get the mill piece, which is very nice, very nice details, everything nice and clean, not much much clean up need on these at all. Rear exhaust, all in one piece, let's go straight on the car. Rear seats which look very nice. Try and get it focused a little bit. We've got the headrest, nice lines all on there. And then it looks like you've got two holes for like um, the seatbelt um, locks, or what they call them now. You can tell me what the hell, that'd be great. Totally forgotten. And then you have the two front seats. Very nice indeed. 
So that's what comes in that bag. Back in there. So they don't get damaged or lost. All those pieces. And then you get all the other little pieces. So you get obviously, there's three of these ones falling off, but you get the, the brakes, pads, brake discs, all nice and clean. Very nice. Steering wheel. Let's put it around that way. So I get a bit of a close up on it. Steering wheel there, which is quite nice. More detail there. Power wing mirror, the other one's fallen off it seems. And you get the door handles. And loads of other little pieces. Uh, two different handbrakes it seems. Part of the part, uh, middle part of the shelf again. And then the other two bits which have fallen off. So you've got those bits in there. And then you had the chrome bits in here. Obviously the front grills, nicely chromed. Looks very nice. There, you have the front headlights, which are black chrome already done for you. And then you got the details in there, which are, one second, let's pick up the wrong thing. Let's have a pick it up. Camera's not working very well at the minute. Come on. There you go, you can see all the detail in there. And then all the other little bits, lights, more rear light, chrome, other bits of chrome there. So you got a few bits of chrome in there. There's one side. And then the bit you all want to see, more than likely, is the body. Now this is very nicely wrapped. And here is the BMW body. Now this is extremely clean to Alpha models. It needs hardly any clean up around the windows. Little bit there, little bit on the rear parcel there. But otherwise it is very, very clean and it's very nice. Nice on the top, nice detail on there. Front looks very menacing. Do like the front and it's even got the parking sensor marks. I don't know if my camera's gonna do that to show you. It's not. Yeah, if you can see that, you've got a parking sensor mark there. Other side there, very nice. And then you've got the rear end of the actual part of the car, and you've got the parking sensors again on the rear, which is very nice as well. But this is very smooth. Hardly any work needs to be done on this, this M3. You know, kit box and PZY have done an amazing, amazing job. Not much to say about the bottom pit, just that side, pretty solid. Nothing on the bottom, you won't see it anyway. And then on the inside of here, you've got a few pieces as well. That's the interior. But you can't really see where they've put the injection into it, the mould, but I think it's there and there looking at it. I can't see anywhere else it is, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, very impressed with this. Um, they are bringing out a Porsche this month, which I'm looking forward to get one of those. Um, but if you'd like to let me know what colour you think this BMW should be, I'd appreciate some comments in the bit below. Because uh, I'm not sure what kind of do it yet. Um, I'm not 100% sure. So that's the, the body. Let's one side. Obviously you get the PPE and the transfers. So you get a little bit of red. I'm not sure what that one's for, but you get some red bits. Get those bits in a minute. Transfers, very nice. Put those in there. I'm not sure exactly what these bits are, but you get some like, belt buckles or something there. And that bit. Some more stickers here for mirrors and bits. 
which look not quite nice. I haven't taken a couple of the moments gonna damage them. That's nice as well. Seatbelt and screws. And it's like part of the brake discs and some other pieces there. It looks like wing mirrors maybe. They look like um, covers for the speakers. Plaque to say that you built it. Very nice. And then you get the other brake pads, brake bits there, which are very detailed. Very nice. On there. On the side, not much on it. And then you get the mirror, the side bits, so you get the old glass bits, so you get that one. Now, one thing I did notice that I like about these is, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's actually got lines in it, like a heat glass. It's very cool. I do like that. And then you've got the other pieces there. So that's all the mirror glass pieces that come with it. Those to one side. And then you have the bits of paper that come with it, the instructions. So you have the one which obviously tells you, let's move it out a little bit. Yeah, this one it tells you obviously what comes in it, which is quite nice. And then obviously the PPE, the stickers on that side. And then you have two pieces. One first shows you the different designs, the special edition and the standard edition, how they look inside if you want to do them like that, which is quite nice for reference. Then you have the instructions on the other side. Not much when it comes to instructions of these, you know, a few bits there. And then you have this one, which has the two versions there, and it tells you what each of the colors represent, the squares on each section. And then you have the interior and the tires, the LC competition ones, standard ones there, interior, bit how it goes in. And that's all that. So that is everything that comes in this box form from China, actually. Um, if you are interested in getting one of these ones, I will leave a link in the description below of the actual Facebook page so you can speak to yourselves. This was a bit more pricey to get over here than uh, the Alpha models. This is about £170, this one. Um, that's because of postage and shipping. Otherwise, it's not a bad price at all. Um, but it's a nice looking M3. So I thought I'd pick that one up and uh, we'll make that one one of the Alpha model ones as well. But yeah, if you have any ideas, of what color to paint this BMW, uh, interior and outside, let me know. And uh, whoever gives me, whoever says the most sort of, I don't know, whatever color comes up the most, uh, that's the color I'll paint it. I hope you like and subscribe.